I'm going to take you to one of the coolest, if not the coolest wedding I've ever been as a wedding photographer. And believe me when I say, I've seen a lot of weddings. And I'm going to take you to that wedding because we are going to Barcelona in Spain. So stick around to see why this is the coolest and craziest wedding I've ever been to. Tomorrow I'm going to take you guys to the most beautiful wedding location in Barcelona, Spain. And before I fly to Barcelona, to Spain, I like to book a hotel the night before I fly. In this case is near Schip Hall, near, near Amsterdam. Tomorrow we're going to fly with the plane with most of the people in the plane are the guests of the wedding. So it's going to be full wedding and I hear some ambient music here. I didn't, <laughs> didn't do anything on iPad, just music starting here. Um, we're going to fly to Barcelona with the with the, with the with the wedding guest and my assistant son is coming and also the videographer and it's gonna be a great wedding. I can't wait to show you guys how beautiful Spain and Barcelona Barcelona is like Spanish day. And I'm going to sleep because I'm really tired. arrived at the wedding location we had about a half an hour to fresh up and grab our camera gear and start shooting so it's quite intense immediately after a trip start photographing immediately so because in the first day they had like a spanish night i had to shoot everything that was been set up because you're not only shooting photos for the couple but also for the vendors that are working there because i want to see some of their work so i walked around shooting all kind of details beautiful stuff of the wedding and what's very important um, it's just a warming up. It's, it's getting to know all the vendors, uh, the, the cinema crew, everything. So the Spanish night started off with a um, big reveal. First of the children and then the wedding couple. They had organized a really cool Spanish night with red light and just that Spanish atmosphere. And I, I love that they just make it, made a theme of it. It was quite challenging for the for phot photographing because everything was red. So I got I, I had a really red color cast beyond the white balance. So your white balance, you can correct stuff or some things you can't correct in white balance. So in the After Effects, I had to do a lot of stuff to fix the red light so it looked better. And I did because I know how to edit. If you're curious about editing those kind of color casts, I got a lot of videos of that on my channel. Be sure to check them out and I can fix every color cast there is. It doesn't matter, matter if magenta, green, I can fix it. And it's very important if you have these kind of team nights that are very colorful and you want to fix them in post-production. On day two, we started with the getting ready of the groom and his son. I don't want to interfere too much because I just want to let it happen, especially when kids are getting dressed up. Let them do their things and then it will be all right. After we, uh, I've shot the groom, I went to the, the bride. So when we were at the brides, uh, I was make, making sure I shot all the photos I wanted to shoot. So in these kind of locations, I already know what I'm going to do uh, before I even go to the wedding location. But I, before I even was at this location, I already knew what kind of shots I want to take. Because I looked up photographs of Tarver, so I knew what kind of rooms and places there were to make beautiful photos. I also like to give instructions when getting ready, so she can turn to the light so we get beautiful photos because sometimes it can get really dark behind the bride and you want to make photos of those beautiful getting ready shots and I asked them to turn around a little bit so we got the light from the outside so we got very beautiful natural lights that's very important after the getting ready it was time for the first look we found a very very cute little town nearby we drove there with the groom and the bride separated so we did the first look at that location it was such a cute location and it was during the day it was a lot of sun and you know a lot of sun can really mess up your photos or your videos so yeah. this we found a little alley that was perfect as you can see there was a lot of shades which was perfect for the photos photos and video and after that we did a shoot because if you're in such a beautiful location in spain you should make photos there and knew what kind of rooms and places there were to make beautiful photos so I also, and luckily the the team of uh, videographers 
I was thinking the same thing. I'm not going to walk around a lot if we got a beautiful spot to photograph. As you can see here, why would you move to another street if you got such a beautiful location? Because there's enough space to make beautiful photos and videos. So we did some static shots, we did some mobile shots or like when, when the bride and the groom are walking we did some shots they're standing still also these cute family photos together i don't want we don't want it to be too polished too much acting going on we want to keep it real but you have to so you have to direct them a little bit because i don't know what to do so you help them out and just let it flow i always try to give them a little push and then let it flow just grab the, the intensity of the moment of the, the the people and the crew i was working with maru films they were so great they had the same work ethic as i as i have and that's very important so they so they understood how to make beautiful photos and also grab the moment and the, the realness of the moment and Sometimes it can get a little bit crowded, especially when, two, when you got two photographers and two, two videographers. But in this case, everything went as smooth as silk. And we found a little spot in the sun, so like a very harsh sun, and just we, we, we put them in a very steady position so we could play around with shadows. So everything in photography and also in video is contrast. Everything, even your edits, the the, the, the your image everything has to be a certain contrast to make it very interesting after the first look it was time for the ceremony the wedding ceremony and spain being spain it was very sunny so we had to do all kinds of tricks to don't, to don't make it look very sunny but still make it great so the skin tones look still are great and if you're very experienced like me you know how to do it and you know how to set your camera so you get great shots to also put on some umbrellas to block the sun i edited it out later because i don't want it to see the umbrellas in the shots and if you're curious uh, on the photos of the photos you can see it on my instagram they're in the description you can see more photos of this wedding there's also a blog about this wedding not only this vlog but also a blog you can find it on my website, the link is in my description, so you can see a lot of photos, you can see how I edit it out. If you have questions on how to edit um, stuff out of the photo, I can help you with that, because it's very important, especially these kind of weddings, there, everything has to be perfect, so as a photographer you have to do everything to make it perfect, because this setting looks just way better when there's no umbrella to block the sun. So. Because we are a crew of four, um, it's sometimes someone was walking in front of the camera, especially me as a star, because I walk around quite a lot to make those. I'm using prime lenses, so prime lenses are lenses that are very, um, you can't zoom them. So, because I can't zoom, I have to walk forwards or backwards to make a photo. And I want to be close to my subject. So, when I'm close to my subject, it just feels more intense and for way, way real. If you're shooting a photo with a long distance lens is always the photo always feels very distant after they were married they threw all kind of uh, little flowers it looked beautiful and i always asked the couple to kiss somewhere in the middle because it looks really cool so when they're kissing and you see all the flowers it looks really really beautiful on the wedding day you also did like an evening shoot like a golden hour shoot because if you're if you're in such a beautiful location you have such a beautiful view you should do a golden hour shoot i'm not the biggest golden hour fan but in this location because we were on a tower of the the wedding location you had a big tower so the sun was just dropping behind the mountains and it's the most beautiful setting you can imagine to make photos i also like to make field shots and with the veal it's very important to hold it yourself and if someone else would hold your veal because i love to hold it myself with some shots but if you let someone else hold the veal which is possible you should shoot very close so it doesn't feel like someone else is holding the veal because it looks unnatural so i want to keep the natural look of the veal that's very important also if you want to make a beautiful golden hour shoot throw up that f-stop go up to 16 you will get a more like a little star from the sun because it looks very very beautiful i also think it's very important to let the couple realize they just got married and where they are in their lives and how the, their life looking right now and they were fully in the moment and that's what i love i love people to be in the moment they're holding each other and just truly enjoying this beautiful beautiful weekend and this beautiful weekend was so beautiful because of them and the friends or family that were 
on this wedding in the evening there was like a very 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 big party they had like the most coolest band ever they were really really great and also a dutch a famous dutch artist was flew in to do uh, like a half an hour show everyone had, was having fun it was such a fun night i worked a lot of hours and i even noticed well i noticed when i came back at home <laughs> but at, at that day it was so much adrenaline and that's why it was such a beautiful day so on the last day the third day they made a very long table with all seats and flowers and everyone was a little bit hungover but that's the best if everybody's hangover you had the best party ever this wedding was insane and very very cool to shoot and i want to thank the the wedding couple and all the vendors that worked at the wedding for working together and inviting me to the wedding because it was the best wedding ever if you want to see more of this wedding go to the description you can find the photos there on the, on the blog on my website or to the instagram if you want to see more of these kind of weddings go visit my channel and even better subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye bye